Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're good today. If you don't know who I am, my name is Beth and today's video is a really exciting one. Just wanna tell you this video is in collaboration with Lucky Checkout. This is the second part to the video what I did before. The first part was explaining what Lucky Checkout is and how I purchased all these products through Lucky Checkout. If you wanna know how I did that through Lucky Checkout, make sure you check out my first video, which I'll link it up there. This video, I'll be testing a full face of Revolution Pro. The only thing I didn't test out is blush, only because I really couldn't find a blush in the Revolution Pro website. I don't know why, I just didn't find it. But yeah, if you really wanna see how I created this look, I really like this look and I'm loving these glitters. <sighs> what those glitters, it's like, in these brows. Yeah, if you wanna see how I created this look, make sure you stick around, stay where you are, wherever you are, stay on that butt. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you aren't already, make sure you subscribe button. And yeah, let's go to the video. Hair back, ready to go. I've literally been on a wild goose chase, seriously, trying to find this little fella. I don't know about you, but do you always lose these things really easily? I managed to find it, it was in my wardrobe for some reason, and I don't know how this got into my wardrobe, but it literally took me half an hour. I was ready to film and everything, and then I was like, right, I don't have my beauty sponge because that always happens when I'm about to film. Anyway, I'm zoomed in for you and we're gonna go straight into the eye makeup and we're gonna start off with the full cover camouflage concealer. I got the shade C1, so it's quite light. We're going to prep the eyelid before we put on the eyeshadow. Oh yeah, by the way guys, I did film this video before, but I lost the footage. So this is like my second time filming. And let me just say, this concealer is so high coverage. You do not need a lot, I've literally like put that much on my finger and that is it and I can literally use that on both of my eyes. This concealer is quite sticky though but I do love the coverage because literally you do not need a lot at all like straight away that is like covered my eye that's covered all in my eyelid bam bam and that was just like a tiniest dot. I do prefer the brush on the Conceal and Define though you know those big fat brushes I do prefer that as an applicator with this I've never had this kind of applicator on a concealer where you have to pump it out, which is quite different, but I do love this coverage. Like, look how it's covered my veins and my eyes. I do love that. This concealer, by the way, is five pounds. I'm gonna just set the eyelids with the Revolution Pro Loose Powder. I'm just gonna set that. Oh, I'm trying to do it away from the camera because a lot comes out. And we're just gonna set that like that. You don't need a lot of this. This can like just smooth the base down and just not have it as tacky as much. Ready for the eyeshadow. So yeah, that is nice and set. I'm super excited to try out the eyeshadows. If you did not see my first part of this video, I did a haul showing everything. I got this palette and I'm super excited to try this out. I already know what I want to do because like I said, I did film this before and I'm gonna go and try the glitters out. So look at this beauty. It is so pretty, it's so colourful. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this colour here, just as like a base, something to put on. This is called Chi Chi and it's from the Tame eyeshadow collection. And we're just gonna put that on our eyelids. And these eyeshadows, they blend so seamlessly. Like I am not very good at blending at all. That's probably one of my downfalls in makeup as well as eyeliner and contour and Everything else. <laughs> no, um, seriously though, like I blend better on one eye than the other. I don't know if it's the same for you lot, but these eyeshadows, they just make it so much easy for us people who can't blend. Like already, that has just gone on so easy. Oh, I cannot wait to show you guys the glitters though because they are so nice. They are beautiful. I'm gonna go in this like, it's like a toned down cranberry colour, it's this colour here. This is called Stubborn and it's from the Millennium collection. I can never say that word, Millennium. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put this all over the lid. Like that. Look how nice that is, so pretty. This colour reminds me of the colour what you get in the Dragon Surprise Egg from the I Heart Revolution range. It is so pretty. I'm just gonna take more of a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend that more. Like already, how much that picks up. 
also what i'm really surprised about like with these red colors these cranberry colors like i'm not seeing any fallout at all which is really surprising because usually with red colors you can get quite a bit of fallout but with this like i have no fallout at all there. it just makes blending so much easier without having to wipe off right we're gonna do the other eye quickly already i am loving that let's like wow i just can't believe how cheap these are like for good quality like they are not expensive at all look at that I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend it even more and I'm going to go in the colour next to that one that I just had and this one is called TJF and it's from again the Millennium Collection, that, that word is going to annoy me, I know it's going to annoy some of you guys because I can't pronounce it um, and I'm just going to put it in the crease, just to darken it up. And same again on the other eye. Woo! Oh, that is so nice. So I'm gonna go in this brownish colour here and I'm just gonna put that in my crease again. This one is called, again, it's from the Millennium Collection and it's called Unruly. dropped my brush oh i'm feeling this pink color here this is called trance from the aphrodite collection and i'm just gonna put that onto my eyes brightens up a bit like that oh look how pretty that is oh, that is so pretty it's so subtle as well but if you did it with your finger it will show up more Okay, so I'm really, I'm really happy with that. Okay, so I'm gonna go in this really like lilac shade and it's from the Aphrodite collection again. It is called Prodigious. We're gonna put this on the inner corner, the inner corner bit of the lid, like that. And the same on the other side. That is so pretty. I love these lilac shades. Mm. My favorite collection is probably the Aphrodite one because it's all pastel colors and it's super pretty. And this is the part where we're gonna put glitter on and this is what I'm nervous about. These glitters are quite messy. So the best way to put them on is probably with a glitter glue. So I am going to use this NYX glitter glue primer. And which one shall I go in? I'm feeling this one here, this really glittery one here. That one, how pretty is that? So it's from the Glisten Here collection and it's called, it's called Twinkle, which is so cute. I'm just gonna place the glue on the middle of the eye. Place it in the middle. This is my first time trying this glue out, by the way, so I have no idea what it's gonna be like. We're gonna use the Revolution Pro Supreme Hold Finishing Spray and we're just gonna spray the brush just so it helps to pick up the, the glitters more. So let's do this. Oh my God, that is so pretty. Oh my God, guys. <gasps> that is stunning. Oh my God, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. That is so pretty. Just wanna be coated in glitter right now. I can't get over this, like this is so pretty. The glitter glue works a charm by the way. I kind of want to put it on my lower lash line as well. Oh my god, they are gorgeous. Oh, this is a really interesting colour actually. This has got like pigments of like green and blue and purples in, that one there. This is called Fame from the Glisten here. And I might put a bit of this in, cause this looks really nice. Put a bit there on top. Oh 
we're gonna do the bottom eyeshadow and I'm gonna go in this red one again here and I'm just gonna take that under my eye low lash line mm. okay so next for our inner corners we are gonna go in this like pinky likey pinky color here and this is called fascinated by the Aphrodite collection and I'm just gonna place this in my inner corners look how that pops wow same again here it just pops so nice Ooh. okay so I'm gonna take this white one here it's got like specks of green in it it's from the glisten up collection and it's called glistenerati and I'm just gonna put that on my low lash line because this looks really nice oh my god look at that moving away from the eyes it's time to prime and put the foundation on okay so this is their new primer and it is the pore primer and it has like a peach tint to it so it's got like a peach tint to it and this primer is so soft like it's the softest thing i've ever felt so soft I can't tell if it's blurred out my face because I can never tell when I use other primers. I never know if they work or not, but we'll see how the foundation applies. I got the Revolution Pro foundation drops and I think I've ordered the wrong shade. This is F6 and this is light skin with yellow undertone. I did think I did buy this F4, which is light skin with neutral undertone just to be on the safe side. So I don't know, let me, let me know what you guys think of this. I do also have the Revolution Pro Camouflage Foundation and I really do love this. It's super full coverage, I really do like it. This is more of a lightweight version, but they say you can build it up. I just wish I got the right color because it's hard to tell. Oh, it's also in a pipette. I don't know how I feel about these applicators though. I don't know, I don't, I don't know how I feel about double dipping. Oh. It does flirt, it does flirt back as well sometimes, but I think I prefer a pump or just something you squeeze out. So let's do the Instagram. Oh, I think I've got too much. Oh, sugar. I didn't realize that. All right, let's just do this really quick. Oh my God, oh my God. Look how drippy that is. By the way, I always prefer using a sponge. I always prefer the finish. So let's let's do this one first because it's literally nearly onto my neck. I'm not sure if it's the right shade for me. I'd probably pick this up more than this one just because I like that coverage. But if you want like a super light coverage, you know, for the summer, I think this would be really good. But if you're a girl who likes that coverage, then I'd go for this one. Now I have foundation lips and oof, I need to get rid of that. This concealer, guys, this kid's concealer, like I said, is super high coverage. You do not need a lot. The first mistake I made, I literally just I just went with it and I just put loads on and then I regretted it. A little goes a long way, trust me. I'm just gonna put that amount on. Like that, that is literally nothing. <laughs> I'm just gonna place it under my eyes. I don't wanna go on the glitter. I feel like I have to put more glitter on. Already, you can just tell it has covered my dark circles. Look at the difference. You can see my lot of dark circle there. And when you look at this side, it just looks so much better. Wow. God, it is such amazing what concealer can do to you, seriously. That covers a lot. I feel like I wanna set it as soon as I put that down though. So I don't know how quick it creases. So I'm just gonna use the loose powder again and I'm literally just gonna take my beauty sponge and then you know what, I might do that baking method, what people do. 
just put a lot of like powder there. I feel like that'll make me too white though. Yeah, I think I'll just wipe it off for now. <laughs> Set really nicely. Okay, so we're gonna go the other side and again, the tiniest blob. Oh my God, it's gone all over my nails. I've got like these Minnie Mouse nails on. Maybe it's best to use a brush. I'm gonna use a brush. Right. I know it's got eyeshadow on now. <laughs> I'm gonna use this side of the brush. I'm gonna put a bit on. Uh, yeah guys I think it's better if you use a brush to applicate this on because of the finger you can feel the stickiness and it just feels like it's oh, more harder to blend if you use a finger yeah definitely use a brush I think it's more precise as well if you use a brush I'm just gonna blend that out more that is concealed so nice Yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's looking so good. Now for contour. I went with the light shade pack of contour refills. I think it comes with a powder and a highlight as well. I'm gonna go here. Ooh. It's not too warm on the skin. So it doesn't really look muddy, which I really like. Because I've got quite pale skin, so I like more of a cool contour. Ooh. I feel like I can blend much better on this side than this side. I feel like I have more structure here. Oh, my hair's coming out. Ooh. Oh my God, look how wrecked my sponge is. It looks like it's been bitten into. Okay, so that's the contour done. And now here's for the exciting part. Again, highlighter. We are gonna go in with this Supreme highlighter in the shade Ice. This is a beauty, seriously this is a beauty. We're gonna go in this color here, which is like a pinky color. I'm gonna take my fan brush maybe. Oh, I might do one of those things that everyone else does. I hope this has got nothing on. Yeah, I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and I'm literally gonna put it on my nose. Oh, that is so highlighted. And I'm gonna put it on my cheekbones. Oh my God. That is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, I love it. Can you give it the Ooh. This is like an iridescent pink. I'm gonna put some fan on as well. I'm just gonna fan it as well. Oh my God. Ah! Oh my God, I love it. Right guys, I've just had to film this clip again because I already had my lipstick on, I had my brows on, but my memory card ran out, so I've got to do this clip again. It doesn't matter though, but you probably can see my eyebrows, they look a bit a tad filled in. That's why it looks like that, so hopefully this will go okay. So I'm gonna go in the lip shade Pro Supreme Matte Lip Pigment Premonition, 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 I think I said that right, yeah. And here we go. This applies beautifully, as I'm saying again, but you d you didn't see it the first time, but trust me. <laughs> look at that. Ah! One thing I like about this, it, it does make your lips look smooth. I love it. <laughs> I do wish there was a lip liner though, because when you're using dark colours, it's always better to use a lip liner, but this lip colour, oh my god, it is stunning. Look at that. Love you. This lipstick's stunning. Can't get over it. Okay, so the next part I'm going to do is, I'm going to like... I'm gonna do that method where people like lightly put lipstick a lighter shade in the middle. Might try that out. So I'm gonna go in with the color Rebellious, which is a beautiful pink lipstick shade. And again, I just love the imprint on this lipstick. It's like, it says pro. Please ignore the, the top layer because I did this the first time when I was applying it on. So I might take that top layer off, hold on. 
I've just took the top layer off just so it's true to colour. So I'm going to go in the middle. In the middle here as well. And I'm just going to use my finger to dab. it's like a gradient effect I love that okay so I'm gonna take the shade veil which is like a warm tonish color and I'm gonna do the same just place it in the middle like that and I'm just gonna blend it out on my finger like that I have troubles with crusty chapped lips but this lipstick has blurred my lips out loop Okay, so now onto the brows again. Let's hope this goes well. This brow pomade is in the shade Taupe and it's only six pounds. Now I normally use the Benefit Cabral in my brow routine. So I do struggle finding a drugstore brow product. This has changed my makeup game, seriously. That's just made my life so easy gone so on quickly. I probably did it better the first time but again it's just worked so nicely. Such a good brow. Such a good brow pomade. I love it. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna do the other brow off camera just so I can save a bit of battery life because I've got a feeling it's going to go out of battery as well so be right back. Okay so both brows are on, worked so nicely, it's like honestly it, it's like butter. This pomade is like butter, six pounds and it just glides across to make that perfect brow so lovely. It's so easy as well to use as well. So my favourite products I've tried out are definitely the lipstick, the highlight and the brows. I think the brows and the lipstick, oh no. The glitter, the brows and lipsticks are the winners. They're so beautiful. Um, as for the primer, not sure if it works, but I'm like that with every single primer. It is super soft though, but the foundation drops. I probably pick this one up more just because I like a full coverage. As for the glitters, the glitters are beautiful. Ah. But they do apply better with a glitter glue, so bear that in mind if you want to try out the glitters. Oh my god, we need to finish off with a spit finishing spray. Oh, okay, so. It won't squeeze out. Why is it not squeezing out? Oh my god, I literally think I broke it. What? Why is there an eyelash on the floor? Why is there an eyelash on the floor? I don't know. Okay, so the squeezy bit kind of failed, so Dan's just put another another squeezy thing. So let's just spray on. Let's hope that works. Oh, it smells like lens cleaner. <laughs> okay, the the bottle he got it out was from a glasses lens cleaner and now it, I smell like spec savers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this is the thing that fails. Oh, oops. Yeah. Okay, um, I probably will have to get another squeezy thing. So guys, that is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this look and yeah, this is the finished look. I'm really happy with it. Also, don't forget if you want to check the first part to this video where I explained how I purchased these through Lucky, Lucky Checkout. That will be explained on my first video. And yeah, don't forget if you really like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe button. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!